Hello and welcome to the Super Data Science YouTube channel. My name is David and today we're going to be looking at some text analysis. So first of all, we're going to load our packages and load our PDF file, which is one of the podcasts from the Super Data Science YouTube channel. And what we're going to be doing is looking at the podcast transcript and seeing which words occur most frequently and then putting it into a word cloud. So first of all, let's load our PDF file. So our text is going to equal to PDF underscore text from the PDFs tools package and then we're going to load our file location. Next, we can just have a look at our second page to see what our text looks like. So we can see here we have the printout of all of the text on the second page. Next we're going to create our corpus. Now our corpus is our complete list of all of the words that we're going to be looking at. And then we use the corpus function from the TM package. Vector source of text, which is our object that we just read in with PDF. Then we're going to clean our corpus. So there's a bunch of words in there that we don't want to use. We want to put all the words to lowercase and remove all the punctuation. This makes it a lot easier to do our counts so that we don't get a word which is uppercase counted separately from a word which is lowercase. So our text corpus is going to equal to, and we just use the tm map function to remove our different uh, words or to change our words to lower or remove punctuation. So text underscore corpus. And first of all, we're just going to make everything lowercase. So we use the to lower function. Next, we're going to remove our punctuation. So we can copy the line above and change our function to remove punctuation. Next, we're going to strip out the white space. So we change remove punctuation to strip white space. Now the next thing we want to do is remove stop words. Now stop words are words that are very common and we don't want to count them, things like the and and, because we don't care how many occurrences there are of those. Let's just have a look at what a few stop words are. And then we need to specify the language that we want to use. And we'll use English, because this is an English document. So we're going to remove I, me, my, myself, we, and our from this corpus so that we don't count those words when we come to count this all up. So again, we use the tm map function on our text corpus. And we're going to remove words. And the words we want to remove are all stop words for the English language. So now we've removed all of the words and cleaned up the words in our corpus. Let's take a look at what we've got left. So here we can see all of our corpus words are in here and we can see that we've got no stop words and no punctuation left and everything has gone to lowercase. So now we need to create our document term matrix. So this is turning our corpus into a matrix so that we can start to do some calculations on it. So we'll have DTM equals document term matrix. 
of our text corpus. Then we want to make that a matrix, so we use as.matrix of our DTM. Now let's have a look at our document term matrix. Now this would be easier to understand if we had the words running down the rows and then the page numbers running across the top. So we're going to transpose our matrix so it's a bit easier to look at. So DTM equals T for transpose of our DTM. Now if we take a look at it again, we can see we've got our words running down the rows and then our page numbers running across the top. So now what we want to do is sum the number of occurrences of each word. So to do this, we're going to use the row sums. So number of occurrences equal row sums of our document term matrix. And then we're going to sort that so that we have our highest occurring words at the top. So if we now take a look at it, we can see that our most common terms are computer, vision and course. So this podcast is about computer vision. Now we're going to plot a word cloud so we can visualize our results. And to do this, we use the word cloud package and the word cloud function. And we'll just plot the first 30 occurrences. So we'll do the head of the names of number of occurrences and 30 observations. And then we'll also do the count for just the first 30. And we're also going to add the scale so that we can get all of our words onto our plot. And we'll do a scale of 2 to 1. So if we plot that, we can now easily see the computer and vision are our largest observations and words like cool and new are less observed. I hope this has been a useful video for you. If it has, don't forget to share and like it and subscribe to the channel.